Welcome to Somewhat Linux. I'm going to run you through how to uh, produce a model for uh, UI dragsters uh, so you can see uh, in this view if you just got a block, the cutout at the back, and profile um, for a car. Uh, so if you are in SolidWorks, um, on my tab, it's down here SolidWorks. Uh, it should look a bit like uh, this screen when you open it. Um, it's asking you for a part assembly or drawing. We're going to work with a part. And I'm creating a file. So, in this view, um, we've got a couple of tabs up here. We're going to start with sketch, a select rectangle on the front plane. I'm going to use the origin and drag out and roughly produce that. Uh, on my smart dimension tool, I'm going to set the length to 200 and the width to 70. So I've done my sketch there. I'm going to finish that sketch. Press this button. Uh, and I can go to features, do an extrude. So it will automatically select that. Uh, type in the dimensions here, and I'm going to have a, a thickness of 32. So that's going to be the material that we'll start with. Uh, so you've got your block of wood uh, that you're going to start with. Going to drill a hole um, and then cut a profile for that. Uh, so, in regards to the hole at the back, that's where the CO2 canister is going to go. We're going to start with sketch, we're going to create a center line. It's going to ask us for a plane uh, on which we want to create our sketch. So, I'm going to select this one. So, I press space bar and space bar and click on that surface. It's just going to go. From 3D to 2D. Uh, if I hover over this line, it will give me center point. And center point there. So I've just clicked and clicked and I'm pressing OK. That's finished there. I can check that it's on the center line by clicking these two uh, lines and half of 32 uh, is 16. So I know that line is in the middle. Uh, it's asking if I want to make this uh, dimension driven or drive. Uh, so I'm just making it true. It doesn't make too much of a difference at this point. I've got a circle and I can roughly place it just on that center line. Um, and I can change the diameter from this point. Selecting smart dimension and the diameter should be 19 mil. Now the location is in the center of the block, uh, but the height I need to change the location of that. So I'm going to click the circle at the bottom. Try that again. The circle at the bottom line, and it's saying 44.3 from this line, and I need it to be 32 and a half. Uh, finish the sketch. I'm in a 3D view. I can click on my mouse and rotate. Um, and go into features, extrude cut. It's all automatically selected that. Um, it said a depth of 32. I want the depth to be 51 millimeters. Asking me what um, 
face do I want to work with? So with this face, which maybe I'll have a bit of a dragster that looks like that. I'm making sure I'm not going too close to the uh, canister. Uh, I know it's about here. Uh, and if I were to cut a hole in that, uh, the car would make regulations. So close that, finish the sketch, back to features, middle mouse wheel, rotate it, and extrude cut. It's automatically going to think I'm going to want to cut this. Happy with that. Click, and that's done. Thanks very much.